Folks, how are we doing today? I wanted to call this video, uh, like, fan mail something, but I feel like that could be a little bit misleading. And, uh, just, you know, I've got 40 subscribers. Okay, there's no fan mail. There's just people who happened upon me and have, uh, have left comments. But also, it means that you should be number 41, you know? Join us. Join me. Join... We're, ju we're just having a good time, and if you can be 41, that would be great. Or 50, who knows. Um, anyway, I just wanted to address a few comments uh, that I got on a short that I found interesting. Because in the future, I don't want to have to feel like I need to reply to these. So I thought, I'll just make this now, say what I want to say about them, and then, you know, I'll feel like I got it all out there and I don't have to, you know, attempt to reply to these people. And I have to say at the beginning of this that I'm okay with criticism. Negative comments about me or the video, whatever, whatever you want, it doesn't really matter, okay? But if you're going to comment, please, I beg of you, try and make it substantive. That's all I ask. Whether positive or negative, just give it some substance, you know? It doesn't have to be anything spectacular. It can just be one tiny little point. It doesn't have to be a book. We're fine with whatever here. Most comments are great. You know, people have just quick little interesting thing to say. Um, you know, there, there are also people who are like, oh yeah, no, I agree. You know, one guy even said, SBMM is poo. Loved it. <laughs> uh, you know, not the most substantive, but it's, an, it's you know, gave me a little chuckle. Anywho, these few just stood out for uh for reasons so let's start off with this first one which is a fine comment okay it's a really really good one we have this individual said you did mosh pit with the new account mosh pit being the most popular and on your new it means older like whatever account uh you did ground war which has to wait for tons of people this is what i'm talking about this is a good point. I didn't realize that when I posted the video. This dude called me out on it. It's a very fair point. I should have noticed. You know, now it seems like, oh, was I trying to be misleading? Was I just, you know, careless? Whatever. I was, I guess, careless. Um, you know, seven people liked it. That's fair. You know, it's a good little thing to call me out on. I completely agree with it. You know, I still think, no matter the, uh, the game mode, I think it takes too long to get into a game. One minute, even, is still significantly longer than five seconds you know it doesn't have to be five seconds every time i don't i don't need it to be five seconds every time but you know 30 seconds to a minute originally is you know it's okay a minute i think used to be long like if you're sitting there you're like oh my goodness i've been here for what feels like, feel what feels like ages but it's been a minute i don't know honestly if i could go back i would try and switch it out for a different one both mosh pit um, but, you know, it, it's done. It's done. But good point. The second comment, we have another individual who said, Whoa, there's a Quen, probably means Q, time for a game? Crazy. Almost as if it's giving you time to do things with, the, with Locker and whatnot. Two minutes is not bad at all. Could try touching grass with two minutes. Now, first of all, with this comment, I feel like the only people that I have actually seen use the term, seen or heard, well, I really, I haven't heard it, so I can only see the term touch grass. The only people that I've seen use it are people on the internet. I feel like you have to be a relatively heavy internet user to just use the term touch grass in your normal speech. Maybe I just don't know. Maybe it's just something I haven't really gotten into or something. Um, so, you know, this could be a me issue. But it just kind of, I find that interesting. But I also feel like this comment, you know, there's nothing to it. it. It's, honestly, it's a waste of my time to read it. It's a waste of their time to put it up there. It's a waste of everyone's time to sit there and look at it. And, you know, instead of sitting there and writing this comment on the internet, you could have been out there touching grass. Brother, you could have been doing that. That would have been great. Also, two minutes. Two minutes. What, like, what am I going to do? Am I, gonna, am I just going to go outside and gently caress the grass for two minutes? Or maybe do, like, some jumping jacks, some sort of calisthenics, maybe? And then just 
hop back inside and hope that I didn't miss the game starting, you know? Maybe I'm a little late. Also, I'm probably playing with people, so then I just have to leave my friends alone in here and say, guys, some random dude on the internet told me to go outside and be more productive while I'm waiting for a game? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Second, we used to have a minute betwixt games. Uh, you know, we could change classes, do whatever we wanted, switch your title, emblem, all these different things. Uh, you know, when we had the emblem editor, you could edit an emblem, whatever you wanted. And that always seemed like plenty. I personally was a big fan in Modern Warfare 2 of Express Team Deathmatch, 30-second intermission. You know, get me in the action, just get me keep playing, you know? Get me keep playing, that's probably not proper English, but... <laughs> you know, obviously now... I think we might need a little bit more time because of the uh, non-user-friendly menus that they have. Um, so you kind of have to scroll for a while, go through hundreds and hundreds of attachments on so many different things. But we're also not sure how long we have in between games anymore. Could be 30 seconds, could be a few minutes, we really don't know. You know, because it puts us into a new lobby every single game. You're not staying in the same lobby with the same people because of skill-based matchmaking. But also, then when you actually get into a lobby, it pulls you out of the gunsmith, so then you have to go back through all the menus, find exactly where you were on the certain attachment, and the 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 ba 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 You know? And a lot of times when you go back in after it pulls you out, you only have a few seconds because the game is starting up, and a lot of times that game is going into a game that is already in progress. So, that's always fun. So you either have those few seconds to finish the class or whatever you're doing or you back out finish it and then you start the whole process over again and then i guess i go outside and do some jumping jacks and uh you know maybe some squats perhaps while i wait for uh, for the matchmaking again a possible fix right could be going back to keeping everybody just you stay in the same lobby right not switching lobbies every single time you start up a match give us a one minute intermission uh, that would also, well, it could reduce the amount of times that we play the same map over and over again. Uh, I know in the beta, there are less maps, but there was an issue with playing, I felt like we played Skid Row over and 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 over, and over, and over again. We just kept playing Skid Row, and I think part of the reason was because you would, you would, get like, you know, maybe Skid Row versus High Rise, and for some p reason people were voting for Skid Row. I know I've had a few people very respectfully and, uh, you know, lovingly, almost tearfully, saying uh, that they would vote for Skid Row over High Rise. You know, that's reasonable, especially if you've played High Rise, if you just played High Rise and now you're saying, oh, I'd like to play on a new map, perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Do it. And we also used to only be able to vote for a map twice. But now that you're getting into different lobbies, it's kind of like you can't just say, oh, no, this one's not able to be voted for because they don't know what map you just played because you're getting into a new lobby constantly because it has to keep tweaking it so that you get as close to a 1KD and a 1-win loss as possible. Now, my question to this uh, this individual is what am I supposed to get from this? What am I what, what sort of lesson am I supposed to take from this comment, other than the fact that, uh, you know, maybe he thinks that I should, uh, you know, get a little bit more fresh air. You know, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just bring a patch of grass inside, so that way anyone tells me to touch grass, I can just have like this nice little, I'll have like a, a pot with just grass growing on it. So anyone, anytime someone tells me to touch grass, or I can just touch it all through like matchmaking. Um, and then, and then this guy will be happy. <laughs> to me, it just seems like he's some random keyboard warrior that is upset about no. what I said or did in this short. Obviously, you don't have too much to go off of in a short. But he was just upset at something. He doesn't like the people who, I guess, criticize Call of Duty, and he just, uh, he doesn't really know why, but he's just gonna say that he, you know, he's just gonna say it. Now, the last comment for today. This is a common bug, actually. Uh, it's most likely caused by the game being in a beta state, uh, pre-release slash trial before launch. Luckily, uh, they told me what a beta is. Um, I was not, uh, wasn't too sure exactly what a beta was, so I'm very thankful that they uh, clarified that. 
where they work out all sorts of things before the actual release date. Now, maybe, just maybe, the matchmaking times do have something to do with it being a beta. I don't really know. But I will say Modern Warfare number two, uh, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 2 matchmaking is actually pretty quick now. If you're waiting for a game for 30 seconds at this point in Modern Warfare 2, the original one, that's quite a wait. But Modern Warfare number two of like this newest game, it does the same thing. And that's, that's the full release. That's not a beta anymore. That's the full release. It does the same thing. I didn't play Vanguard or Cold War. The one that I played before that was Modern Warfare 2019. And I don't really remember too much about that because then I started playing Warzone and that was it. That's not something that they feel like they want to fix. That's just the skill-based matchmaking. Uh, he continues. It may also be another bug where there is a lack in player count because some players don't want to play an unfinished game. First of all, that's not a bug. It's It just means that people aren't interested in the beta. It means that there is lack of interest in your game, which is, that's a bad sign if people just aren't interested in playing your game. I also don't think that lack of players uh, in an open beta for Call of Duty is an issue. There are plenty of people who want to get in the game, you know, see it early, feel it early, play it, see, see what it just feels like. And, uh, you know, especially right now, look at all these new maps. You're probably going to get a lot of older players who just want to see the maps remastered. Uh -oh. And also, especially after I got into a game and five seconds on a new account, you're not telling me that that was just because there was all of a sudden just a huge rush of players and I got super lucky uh, that I just happened to get into a game in five seconds on a brand new account. Also, an unfinished game, he says. He says that the game is unfinished. And for years now, Call of Duty betas have basically been demos. They're slowly going to maybe try and fix a few things here and there, and they're slowly going to, you know, they're going to adjust guns and stuff, but it doesn't really matter. But for years, Call of Duty betas have just been demos. They're not going to change too much from the beta to launch. It hasn't happened for years, and I can almost guarantee it's not going to happen with Call of Duty Modern Warfare number 3. He ends uh, very eloquently. The best fix I've seen so far for both is to touch grass. Once again, uh, the touch grass here. And seethe until November 10th. Now, issues with that. I will not be buying the game on November 10th. The beta... See, what happened is I played the beta. The beta proved to me that there are issues in the game that they don't want to fix that really make the game unenjoyable for me. So I will not be purchasing the game. So I'm not, and I'm not seething, really. Like I've, it's one of those things where, again, I've just kind of like, like I did this with Call of Duty for a few years. It was just like, it's forgettable. I'm not really enjoying uh, the games and you know, that's it. Like, do I want the game to be good? Yes, I really do. I would love for the game to be good. I don't think it is. You know, if you love the game, honestly, if you are enjoying any Call of Duty right now, like Call of Duty Modern Warfare number two, don't listen to what I'm saying. Do not listen to me at all. If you enjoy the game, keep playing the game and enjoying it. But I replied to him and I said, stuff like this happens in Modern Warfare number two as well. Two minutes is longer than the normal, or than normal but even one minute in a new game or an open COD beta is insane. Uh, then, you know, days later, he said, you write, uh, God forbid gamers wait 60 seconds, far too long. And then I said, which I think kind of sums up my thoughts on this whole thing uh, relatively efficiently, the reason for the wait is the real issue. Since I know I can get into a game with a good connection in less than 10 seconds, why should I have to wait longer to be put into a casual game, not, uh, not ranked, remember this, a casual game with a bad connection and a bunch of sweats so Activision uh, can protect bad players and maybe make them play the game long enough to buy a few overpriced cosmetics. I think that's a fair point. That's all I want is just an answer to that. Both of these comments, the first more than the second, uh, because the second one mentioned bugs and, you know, actually explained 
you know, what a beta is. So, you know, I really needed that. But both of them just lack substance. There's nothing there, you know? And if you disagree with me, okay, explain your disagreement. Don't just attack me or say it's because it's a beta when it, uh, when it happens in all these recent games. Maybe they misunderstood the point of the video. The point of the video was to show that skill-based matchmaking increases uh, matchmaking time because it has to try and find a lobby for you to go even in. You know, you can't do too well anymore in Call of Duty. They won't have that. I also realize that it's hard to get a whole lot into a short. So maybe there was some context missing. Maybe, you know, whatever. Maybe they thought I was just complaining about waiting for a while occasionally. You know, and if they did, uh, and then it's just a problem with miscommunication. And I guess if they're just, if they think that I'm just complaining about waiting for a minute to get into a game, you know, maybe then you can kind of just make fun of me a little bit, but that's not the point. And I feel like it's pretty obvious because I also titled the video, Stop Sacrificing Connection to Protect Players. Uh, there was a hashtag SBMM in there. So I think it's, I think it's fairly clear if you actually really pay attention what I'm trying to say. But a lot of people, they got those itchy fingers, those keyboard warriors out there just wielding their fingers vigorously. Um, it's, it's a crazy thing. You know, also maybe they're younger and they never played Call of Duty in the golden era. So they just don't really know what it's like. They don't feel like, like Call of Duty has gone downhill because they haven't played it long enough to know when Call of Duty was good. They could have just said that they don't mind longer wait times because they still enjoy the game. You know, they probably don't really think that. They probably don't think about it much at all. But instead of just attacking someone that they don't know on the internet, they could have said something to just kind of say, oh, no, I don't really mind the uh, the the longer wait times because of skill-based matchmaking. I just don't. I also know that trying to get people on the internet, especially the Call of Duty community, to be civil and substantive in their comments is impossible. Can't be done. But, you know, we can try our best here, at least. Because I am actually interested in why people like or defend skill-based matchmaking and Activision. I genuinely am. Uh, because I think skill-based matchmaking is ruining Call of Duty, and Activision is far more worried about making money than making a good game. And I know a lot of people would say, oh, well, they're a, they're a company. They're supposed to be all about making money. Well, then they should actually make a game that people want to play. You know, the people that are holding the franchise up right now are the ones that buy all their useless overpriced bundles because more and more people are just kind of giving up on the game. They're not buying it in the first place or they just stop playing after a month. Like the last few years of Call of Duty, the player retention has just been awful. They're, they just urinate the players away. Call of Duty drinks their own Kool-Aid, and then by the time launch comes out, they gotta go. They really gotta go, and they just, all those players are the little sugar in the Kool-Aid, and then they just, whoosh, it's like a, like a, a waterfall. I just don't understand the instinct that some people have to defend a billion dollar company that is charging you $70 for a game with $20 bundles that'll be irrelevant in a month, right? They're gonna nerf the guns in the blueprints and then say that they listen to the community and, uh, you know, people like the ones who wrote these comments are gonna praise them for it after they spent $20 on the bundle. Personally, I think this is worse than the loot boxes that they used to have because with those, you could reasonably play the game and open them, open a consistent flow of them through just playing. Uh, you know, they were random, so you, you just had the hope that you got something good, but you could at least try and earn everything in the game. Now, you can't earn any of the really cool stuff in the game just by playing. You have to go and buy it. It really, to me, seems like they have a free-to-play game that they charge full price for. I think people just got so used to buying Call of Duty. Like, Call of Duty was a game that you buy every year. You know, you just go and you buy it, you buy it, you buy it, you buy it. And now they're making free-to-play games that are exactly like Call of Duty, or at least have a similar sort of in-game store, the Battle Pass, all that stuff that are free to play, but Call of Duty just has not done that. And yes, they do have a campaign that, you know, let's be completely honest, I think most people, or at least a lot of people, don't care at all about. 
some third game mode that might get some attention from a small group for a while, maybe, you know, maybe a few years. But those things together just aren't worth $70. You're paying for the multiplayer. That's what people play for. That's what they care about. That's what you're paying $70 for, plus whatever else you spend on everything else. So we got used to paying for Call of Duty, and now they can get us to buy the game even if you just buy the full game to level up guns for Warzone. Then... You start up the game and you get constant ads for new bundles that are, you know, they'd be understandable in a free-to-play game, but not one that I just paid $70 for. You know, every time I start up the game, I have to sit through an unskippable cutscene that I don't care about, that usually just tries to add some sort of story to Warzone or multiplayer, which don't have or need a story, just so they can try and sell me bundles on five separate pages that I have to skip before they take me to the battle pass that gives you... Close to nothing, really, unless you spend another $20 on that. And while you're at it, you might as well just pay a little bit more and get the black cell, right? You know, I have to admit that if you get the battle pass once and you play enough, you at least used to be able to get enough COD points to then buy the battle pass the next time. I don't know if that's still the same. Um, wouldn't surprise me if it's not anymore. But, you know, it at least was that way. I really wish I could understand why people like skill-based matchmaking outside of ranked ranked fine but when i just want to casually play the game with some friends and have a good time and not just sweat and feel like if i don't sit there and just try my hardest i'm just not gonna have a good time and get destroyed it's not fun you know and then the skill-based matchmaking puts you in uh just lobbies with bad connections all the time Let's go. Come on. it's not good i don't like it it just it has pushed me away from the game. And I that's me, just some random dude. I don't matter, but I think a lot of people really feel the same way. So if you have anything to say, leave a little comment. Uh, and please, just make it worth my time, your time, and everybody else's time who happens upon it. You know, save them a few seconds that they could have been touching grass, right? But I, I just really wish, I want to understand why these people believe what they believe but they never really seem to be willing or able to lay it out for me. I wish they could, but they just never do. And like I said, most comments are great. It's just these keyboard warriors that I could argue are fighting against their own interests that I wish I could understand. Anywho, if you enjoyed, like the video. If you disliked it, dislike it, and tell me to go touch grass, just like everyone else. Or something that will actually help me understand why I'm wrong. Either one, you know, preferably the latter. And, you know, hey, you have a chance right now to be that 41st subscriber. Unless unless I'm already past it when you see this, which would be fantastic. But then you can, hey, then we can get to 50. Let's see if we can get there um, soon. And, uh, you know, that'd be really cool. So I appreciate you. Tell me what you think. I'm, I'm super interested. I'm, I'm actually, like, genuinely interested in this subject and why people... Um, support skill-based matchmaking in pubs it's interesting to me so let me know appreciate you and i'll talk to you later